International best-selling author James Rowlands is out with his latest novel in the Sigma series, Kingdom of Bones. He joins us today to talk about the new thriller. Good morning, James. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much, Amanda. I appreciate the support. Um, congratulations on the new book. How long have you been working on this one? Because you, you're prolific. I mean, that is the perfect verb to describe you. Adjective, I should say. <laughs> actually, I've been working on this novel uh, for about two years. I actually pitched the idea to write a book about viruses in 2019, which uh, in retrospect, probably not the best thing to have pitched. Uh, I, I knew I wanted to, I'd read this article in New Scientist magazine about uh, when to expect the next global pandemic. And uh, I wasn't so much wanting to do a pandemic novel as so much as I wanted to look at the weird biology of viruses. And so I pitched it to my editor, uh, come 2020, COVID rears its head. Editor emails me, says, Jim, did any of the virologists who were speaking to you, did they warn you what was happening? Did they give you any heads up? Uh, they did not. Uh, they basically uh, told me things that were actually scarier. They gave me a lot of details both before the co before COVID hit and during the pandemic. Uh, details that I fold into the story, you know, shocking details that are gonna sort of shine a light into the current pandemic, but also offer a glimpse behind the scenes of what's going on in the world of virology. So you can possibly better understand not only this pandemic, but what, what might be coming next. Yeah, it, it, it's you. You have a better grasp of that, I think, than, than some of the lay people out there simply because you've done the research. And in, in this Sigma series book, A Kingdom of Bones, um, the, the premise is a UN relief team makes this discovery in a small village in the Congo that the ecosystem is turning predatory and threatening the world. Um, is that what you're talking about when, when you say uh, knowing a little bit more about virology or was this a completely different idea for you? Basically, they're one and the same. Uh, the story starts out when sort of all hell breaks loose at that UN camp. Uh, men, women, and children are found to be in a dull, catatonic state. Uh, the environment itself is turned more predatory and dangerous. And this phenomenon is spreading. It's actually it's born by a sort of a super virus. And so in the course of this novel, you're going to find a lot about, uh, about virology in general using this uh, fictitious virus as a vehicle in which to you know, share uh, not only our our role in the natural world, but also shining a light on what's going on with this current pandemic. So you've spent the last two years writing Kingdom of Bones. Right now you're promoting the book because uh, it just hit bookshelves and is, and is out to order online as well. Uh, what are you doing next? Are you taking some time off? Are you going to start writing again? Are you going to pick up a book yourself and try to relax and read something? Well, I still do read almost every night. I always, I always tell people whenever I teach writing, not only should you be writing every day, you should be reading every night because your, your prose is going to get stronger. So I always have my antenna up for the next idea. I'm already working well into the, my, my next Sigma novel that, says, that takes place in Australia. It deals with uh, colonial history, Aboriginal mythology, and a treasure hunt around the globe for an artifact that may prove that we are not alone in the universe. Oh my God, that sounds fascinating. I can't wait to read that one. That, that, I, I'm just like, my ears have perked up for that. Uh, congratulations again. The newest book is Kingdom of Bones by our guest, James Rowland. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much.